Hello and welcome today to this reading session with me. I am Elisa Paganelli, children's book illustrator, and I'm going to read you today a few pages from the second book of a series I illustrated. The series is The Travels of Ermin, written by Jennifer Gray, published by Osborne Publishing. And the second book is The Travels of Ermin Stoughton on Stage, where our very determined stoat, Miss Ermine, is going to go on stage. And we have here an evil character named Winifred Winnie. But as usual, I don't reveal you anything more. Let's start reading. Chapter 5 Later that evening at Winnie's Mansion. Winifred Winnie was standing in front of a mirror practicing her acceptance speech for winning Australia's most awesome animal show when her computer began to ping. Winifred frowned. That meant people were talking about the competition on social media. And they weren't just talking about it, they were going nuts. Curses, she thought. One of her rivals must have posted something. She wondered which one it could be. Paul Pigot and Pete the percussion playing platypus. Lucy Sponge and Sue the siding slow. <coughs> Bill Trog and Bert the bird tarantula. Probably Bill Trog, Winifred decided posting some pathetic piffle about his awful arachnid was just the sort of dirty low-life trick that big-headed poster would use to get publicity. She snorted. As if Bill Trog and his tarantula could beat Winifred Winnit and her performing wallabies to a million dollar prize. The idea was ridiculous. All that Spider did was crawl about. Winifred reached for the computer and scrolled through the post. Her face went pale. It wasn't Bill Trog and his bird tarantula everyone was going crazy about. The internet was a buzz with stories about some revolting child called Butterfly and Winifred could hardly believe it. Ermin a sewing stoat. Winifred almost fainted. Australian news. Sydney today witnessed one of the most extraordinary events in its entire history when Ermin, a brave young stoat, came to the rescue of Butterfly Langstorm, the granddaughter of our very own opera star, Dame Sylvia. The three of them were taking part in Sydney's famous bridge climb experience when Ermin and them Butterfly were blown off the bridge by high winds. When the staging around Butterfly safety clip began to tear, Ermin saved her life in a dazzling display of sp speed turning. Butterfly, 8 years old, has confirmed that they will be entering Australia's most awesome animal show, but they haven't yet decided on their act. Ermin was not available for comment, but judging by the incredible response to Ermin's exploits, she and Butterfly must already be hot favorites to win. Last year's winners, Winifred Winnet and her performing wallabies, had better watch out! Winifred Winnet ground her teeth. Not available for comment. What a stupid thing to say. Of course this thought wasn't available for comment. That was because he couldn't speak. A stoat was just another dumb animal, like all the rest of them, even if it could sue. She clicked angrily on a video link. One of the other climbers in the group had filmed the whole episode. Butterfly and Ermin dangled from the bridge. Do something, Ermin! came a voice. Sylvia Langstorm stoat Winifred, judging by the volume. She saw the stoat's face take on a determined expression. 
Don't worry, Sylvia, I'll save her, it said. It could talk. Winifred's jaw dropped. Her eyes popped. She said throughout the rest of the video in a daze. Just then, Cruella pottered in, looking for food. What? What? When she saw Ermin on the computer screen, she growled. Then she picked up a cushion in her gigantic teeth and shook it until all the feathers came out. Winifred snapped out of her trance. She jumped to her feet and kicked the feathers in the air. A stupid suing stoat thinks it can steal my prize, does it? We'll see about that. I'll... 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 Winifred paused for a moment. What would she do? Then she had an idea. A sewing stoat would come in very handy about the house, especially one that had a tail like a duster. She would find it, catch it, and make it work for its keep. Quick, Cruella, she snapped. Get the dressing up box. We need a disguise if we were going to catch it. Winifred had a very large collection of dressing up clothes, mainly thanks to all the children's parties she had entertained at before she became famous. Cruella dragged over a large trunk they were kept in and threw open the lid with her snout. Then she leaped into it and started to hurl its contents all over the room. Winifred picked up a few things to examine them before tossing them aside impatiently. Dorothy and Toto, Goldilocks and the One Bear, Kangaroo and Joy, Little Red Riding Hood and the Wolf, Little Bo Peep and the Sheep. No, 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 Winifred cried. That butterfly girl looks far too smart to fall for any of those. She mustn't suspect anything. We need to blend in with the crowd. Cruella burrowed deeper. Customs littered the room. Wait! Winifred said. She picked one up off the floor. Surfer, dude and dog. This is perfect, Cruella! Winifred cried. She tried on the wig and glasses and admired herself in the mirror. She looked so dude-like, even her keenest fan wouldn't recognize her. She gave an evil chuckle. <laughs> All they had to do now was follow Butterfly and Dermin, wait until the child's back was turned, then nap the stoat and keep it hard at work until the talent show was over and they were winners, by which time Winnet Mansion would be lovely and clean as well. Winifred was so happy she felt a new song coming on. Easy peasy, arm and squeezy, catch the stoat and make it squeegee, use it tail to dust down low, while Winifred wins the talent show! There was just one thing she needed to do. Winifred picked up the phone and dialed the number of her agent. Gustav, is that you? Now listen carefully. I need some information. I want you to find out where Sylvia Langston lives. This was chapter 5 from The Travels of Ermin Stout on stage. I hope you liked this reading session. If you did, please leave a thumb up, follow the channel. If you want to, to follow me also on my social media, there is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you're very welcome. And see you for the next reading session with me. Bye.